Hello everyone, I know that I have been absent for a, I think a week now, honestly, I didn't, haven't filmed anything, this is my first time filming something since my Terrifier video, which by the way, thank you guys so much for watching that video, that is currently my highest viewed video, I think I'm almost at like 50 views, which I know to a lot of people isn't that much, but since my comeback to YouTube, uh, reviewing horror movies, that has currently become my number one highest viewed video, which can only prove how good the movie is because clearly so many people care about it if, you know, it's my highest viewed video. And also the amount of people who have reviewed that movie saying that it's probably one of the best terrifier or art the clown type of films so you know i just wanted to say thank you i'm not gonna go into terrifier because if you want to know go check that video out um i'm not gonna talk about terrifier today um i'm gonna be talking about something that i'll be honest i'm not really familiar with too much with this uh franchise and you'll know why in a sec okay so we're gonna be talking about the new jeepers creepers movie which came out i believe last month I know I'm late, okay, some of these movies that I'm going to be reviewing are practically revisits, not exactly like, you know, first time reviews. This one, to be honest, is a first time review because I finally watched this movie literally the first day of November. Like, Halloween had just ended. I remember going to sleep on Halloween night, watching a Michael Myers film, and the next morning I woke up and immediately put this on because I was like... I've seen Michael Myers too many times. I need something for my channel. So here I am about almost a week late. Okay, so yes, Jeepers Creepers. I finally did watch it. I did mention that I was trying to get to it. And not really my favorite film, honestly. I think I, it's not a movie I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be here. I'm not gonna sit here and like explain to you like, oh, I could do without it. You know, like I was, I'm not gonna be like, Oh, there was no need for me to watch it. It's a movie that I, you know, I felt the need to watch. And also I had fun watching it because I don't know. It was, you know, it's a, technically a horror franchise. You know, the creeper is a pretty well-known like horror icon, I guess you can say. So I felt the need to watch it. And it's one of those movies where I'm like, you know what? I'm at least glad I gave it a chance. I've seen it. I can tell people how I genuinely feel, but it's not a movie I'm going to be adding to like one of my favorites this year. And I'm also not adding this to my DVD collection. I'll tell you that for sure. Okay. So Jeepers Creepers Reborn is the latest uh, movie to the Jeepers Creepers franchise. I don't know how many of these there are. I think there's like four... I want to say four, maybe five. I could be wrong. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with this franchise at all, okay? I am not educated on this franchise as I am with, like, you know, Halloween or Child's Play, you know? I'm not too familiar with this franchise. But to start things off, I do want to say the best part about this movie, to me, was probably the beginning. So... I, I don't know. I feel like the beginning was like the only scene where I kind of got scared. I'll be honest. Like this movie wasn't that scary to me, but this is, whoa, I'm glowing. Holy crap. You see that light? Um, sorry. I just got distracted with how glowing I am, you know? Um, so yeah, the beginning scene, probably the best scene. It's the only scene that I will say kind of scared me. Um, uh, <clears throat> because we open with like i'm not gonna get into the full you know movie like i did with terrifier don't expect that um but um so the movie opens with like an elderly couple uh like on the road you know they're not that old i don't want to come out here and say they're like you know seniors or anything like that but they're still an elderly couple you know um so they're on the road um all alone and all of a sudden uh the creeper and his famous truck that I'm sure if you know the Jeepers Creepers movies, you know that truck that he's always driving, um, starts following him and uh, kind of gave me the chills because, you know, for someone who, you know, I, you know, I'm not going to get into my personal life, but, you know, I recently just got my driver's license and 
I've been driving for a year now and I can honestly say nothing scares me more than tailgaters, okay? I just hate people who tailgate me. I'm sure we all do, you know, but this guy, the creeper I'm talking about is like, you know, is uh, chasing them kind of. Well, I mean, it's one road, so it's not like the creeper could have like, you know, turned or anything. Could have gone around them, but obviously the creeper just wants to be a creeper, you know, and follows them. Um, then at one point, I think he does go around them and the elderly couple drives by this like house this like abandoned house which by the way i'm sorry to jeepers creepers fans out there because like i said i'm not that educated with this franchise i don't know if this house is important to the franchise like i don't know if this is like a famous house that has been like shown in the previous movies or anything like that like i'm not sure okay because i don't know this franchise enough um so they pass by they see that the truck is there and then they see the creeper dumping what looks to be a body bag and they kind of freak out they didn't make too much of it like they're not like you know let's call the police or anything like that but they do realize like you know maybe that was something they weren't supposed to see you know uh and then later on they just continue driving and the creeper comes back, which kind of scares me because I can't, you know, like I was like, oh my God, like this guy, like, oh my God, like this is so scary to me, you know? And uh, I think they lose him at one point. And when they lose him, they go the opposite way. So they're like, let's get out of here, right? Like they go the opposite way. They pass by, no, they don't pass by the house. They before they get past the house again they realize um that they want to inspect what was that bag that he threw away which honestly i wrote down here in, in parentheses um a really dumb decision honestly like you just like just uh, just keep that like a secret like something you weren't meant to see and just like try to erase it from your memory you know like why do you need to like go inspect like i don't know and, and um you know to be honest it just cuts from there because it turns out that this whole scene that's going on is like a video that the main character uh one of the main characters is like watching um and that's where we go into the main characters uh they're kind of boring okay i don't really like any of the characters in this movie like everyone kind of felt boring to me like they were like they felt like they were supposed to have a character trait you know but they just didn't they were kind of really boring if i will you know um and that's the go for the creeper as well honestly like for someone like i don't hate the jeepers creepers movies you know i obviously i haven't seen all of them and i don't know the full story but like even the creeper to me didn't really feel like a like a big thing in this movie even though this is clearly his movie it just felt weird because like you know i always say this with like um certain franchises like big famous you know like for instance like uh i think i mentioned in the terrifier review of the sanderson sisters who if you don't know who they are who even are you you know i'm talking obviously i'm talking about hocus pocus you know with the new one as well like when they bring back like really popular like older like famous characters like that i feel like you should bring them back in like the best way possible you know what i mean like i feel like the creeper i don't know how long it's been since the last jeepers creepers movie but i just felt like he didn't really have a cool comeback like you know like you do witness him like coming out of like his hibernation because as far as i'm concerned because i've only seen like one other jeepers creepers movie aside from this one the creeper is kind of like pennywise where it's like he like hibernates for a certain amount of years and then he like comes back you know obviously i should watch at least the first jeepers creepers because that should explain some of my questions because to be honest in my opinion what is the creepers deal like i don't know like i feel like that's something like you know if you know like comment down below because what like what it, like i feel like every character has a reasoning for like their killings and all that stuff like you know 
obviously you know you know chucky has reasoning for killing at first i don't even know if he's doing that anymore but i don't think he, no he's not even doing that anymore but at first he wanted to you know capture this kid to transfer his bot his soul into his body to get out of this like living doll form and he would just kill people that get in his way and stuff like that you know um I feel like every character has to have like the reasoning for killing obviously not every character is like broken in a way you know uh some of them are just born pure evil which i feel like that's the creepers deal which i'm per I i'll be honest i'm personally not a big fan of that you know i love knowing backstories as to like why are they killing why are they evil you know who are the characters are targeting you know what i mean because in some movies you see like the killer will go after like their bullies or whatever people that mess with them you know you see reasoning as to why this person's going after these people the creeper not at all educated with him so i don't even know what his deal was like i don't get his reasoning for like killing these people so that was just kind of one thing that i was confused with but to be honest i guess that's a little blame on me because i don't watch these movies um and there's another thing about the creeper by the way so in this universe this time that we're well this time that the movie's taking place in the creeper has become a famous attraction apparently because you know like i said uh after the first scene it turns out it's a video that the one of the main characters is watching this guy is like obsessed with the creeper okay like this guy is like the creep this guy is like the biggest jeepers creepers like fanboy you know what i mean and uh they go to this like like halloween type of festival thing i don't know what it really looked like um they enter this like raffle thing which like i guess if you win you get to go to like the creeper's house or something like that i don't and obviously this guy's like beyond excited because he's like hell yes we are going to the creeper's house you know what i mean like and i'm just like why was this a decision you know what i mean like you didn't see people do that with like you know michael myers you know obviously in this real world you know the myers house is a real place people who love michael myers will go to that place but like i'm talking about like in the movies like you know these past three like jason blum halloween movies you didn't see people being like oh my god uh the myers house there it is let's go take a picture with it let's go see if we can meet michael myers you know like pe like people nobody saw him as like an attraction you know like nobody saw the house as like a, a halloween maze tour thing like you know it wasn't like that at all and i feel like why is that something people do you know what i mean like i don't know i just feel like this is so like this was such a weird decision i felt like to like make the creeper a pretty famous killer in this universe you know what i mean like i just like i feel like why you know it, it's like that's like if like for example if they would have never teared down like uh the apartment complex where like jeffrey dahmer lived it was still standing and like people go there people pay money to go to his apartment and like take pictures for instagram and stuff like that it's just like why like why why is this why I, why i don't i don't know okay i just didn't really like that decision and then obviously they go to the house with these like other people i don't i didn't care for these people at all by the way i didn't even care to know what their freaking occupations were like why why are you hired to go with them you know what i mean um people started getting killed off what did you expect um i don't know like is, is what i'm saying is again with like the michael myers house like if people in the movies would have been like that's the Myers house let's go check it out uh and then michael myers just shows up and kills you like i feel like what like what were you in a way expecting being in that universe you know what i mean like you know this guy comes back every now and then if you have this guy living in your universe i feel like you should have in your mind okay how long has it been since he was last awake and is this the year he comes back? Like, I just feel like, you know, that's not something... They weren't smart with it. If these people clearly knew that the Creeper was a character living in their universe. And they knew that he was in hibernation and he comes back. Why would you host this thing 
the year he comes back like i just feel like like wouldn't people know like wouldn't people be calculating like hey this is the year he comes back let's just not do that you know what i mean like if you want to do that i would say do it like within his hybrid like i would say like at least like five years after he's you know hibernating i don't know how long this guy lasts hibernating by the way i'm not that educated like i said but yeah that's all i really want to say about this i don't want to get into all the spoilers um one thing i will say is uh the killing effects they're pretty good i guess you know so there were some off-screen kills but you do see like how the bodies end up afterwards so i guess i can give them that for like at least like showing you know bodies and not being like well all these deaths are off screen which they happened off screen but then they showed the results so i guess you know cool kill effects i guess you know i'll give you that but i personally i'm not a big fan of this movie okay that's just the end of it okay that's how i feel if you guys have any other opinions or things you want to correct me on or like you know let me know because you know i'm not a big fan of this franchise not that i'm not even a big fan of it because the last movie that i've seen i don't know which one it was i actually really liked that movie this one i've heard people say wasn't good i still gave it a chance which you know you're welcome i still gave it a chance even clearly knowing that people were hating it and now i'm here telling you that i hate it okay but i gave it a shot okay and you know let me know the creepers deal like what what it, like what's his purpose for killing why like what's his backstory is what i want to know you know like i just feel like there should be some sort of reasoning as to why he comes back to kill people why is he even a killer like i mean the dude's practically not even human because i mean look at him you know like I, just, I don't know i don't know what else to say i just can't think of anything else i think i'm gonna just end the review there because my god if you guys haven't seen it and you know if you would like to watch it um you can still go check it out i'm not gonna like tell you don't go check it out okay because like i said it's it, here's what i'll say it's not a movie that i'll add to my collection nor will i say i'm gonna love it but I'll watch it again, like, if someone were to be like, hey, isn't there a new Jeepers Creepers? I'll be like, yeah, there is. Have you seen it? And they're like, no, you want to watch it? Like, I'll watch it with you, you know what I mean? But I'm not going to, like, I'm never going to be alone and be like, you know what? I want to watch Jeepers Creepers Reborn. I doubt that. Um, so, yeah, that's my review. I'm sorry if it pisses you off. I'm, you know, sorry if I'm not educated on this character. I've never really focused on Jeepers Creepers that much. Uh, and apparently a lot of people haven't either because of like things with like going on with the director, things that happen with him, which I get, you know, but I gave this one a chance. That's all that matters to me. So anyways, yeah, that is my review for Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Uh, if you want to let me know your review, go ahead and leave it in the comments. If you have anything to say about this or even to me, about correcting me or letting me know on something that i missed let me know um and yeah there you guys go hopefully you guys enjoyed this little mini review and i will see you guys next time bye bye